Income Elasticity of Demand. What is it and how do we calculate it? Today we are going to find this out. Without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this. This formula should look familiar to you. It is the formula for the regular price elasticity of demand. If this formula doesn't look familiar to you, this is also not a problem. I have linked a video about this topic in the description and you can also find it on the top of your screen. We know that price elasticity of demand can be calculated as the percentage change in quantity demanded as a result of a percentage change in price. The formula for the income elasticity of demand is fairly similar. You can see the formula for the income elasticity of demand on your screen now. It can be calculated as the percentage change in quantity demanded as a result of a percentage change in income. As per any division, the coefficient which is the outcome of the division on your screen can be either positive or negative. We are going to cover both scenarios. Scenario 1. The coefficient of the income elasticity of demand is positive. The outcome of the division is positive when both the percentage change in quantity demanded and the percentage change in income are positive or negative. Reason for this is that positive divided by positive equals positive and negative divided by negative is also positive. When the outcome of the equation is positive, this means that people demand more of a specific good when their income rises. This type of good is known as a normal good, as we of course already know. An example of this is an avocado. When income rises, the quantity of avocados demanded also rises. So, a positive coefficient means that we speak of a normal good. Scenario 2. The coefficient of the income elasticity of demand is negative. The outcome of the division is negative when the percentage change in quantity demanded is negative whilst the percentage change in income is positive, or when the percentage change in quantity demanded is positive whilst the percentage change in income is negative. Reason for this is that negative divided by positive equals negative, and positive divided by negative is also negative. When the outcome of the division is negative, this means that people demand less of a good when their income rises. This is known as an inferior good. An example of this is pot noodles. People will demand less pot noodles if their income rises. So, a negative coefficient means that we speak of an inferior good. I hope you learned something today. If so, please help me out by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. This will make sure I will be able to help more people with their economics. Thank you in advance.